Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to welcome you to the first episode of FIFA 17 players to watch out for. The series is back. Every single year I have done a guide, a sort of series, uh, sort of showing you guys uh, players that you should look out for on the next FIFA. This is based on their real life performances so these are players that are perhaps uh, wonder kids that have maybe had a breakthrough season in their own domestic league, uh, players who were the top scorer in their league, players who did well at European competitions or for their national side, whatever the circumstance, but they're just players that should be absolute monsters on FIFA 17 and players that you should definitely check out for career mode when you first get the game. If we could smash 120 likes for the first episode of this new series, that would be massively appreciated and hopefully I'll take you through some players that you perhaps didn't know, but players that will be amazing on the next game. And first of all, we've got the OG guy himself. It is Marcus Rashford, the man who had the breakthrough seasons to end the breakthrough season, sorry, to end all breakthrough seasons for Manchester United, coming out as an 18-year-old and just absolutely annihilating whoever he came uh, came across uh, in the league and also in the Europa League as well. Sorry, he's a 17-year-old, not an 18-year-old. He was 69 overall on FIFA 16. I'm sure he'll be breaking into the 70s, maybe even a gold card on the next game. He will have ridiculous potential and obviously someone that you guys should know already that that will be absolutely insane on the next game. After that, we've got Usman Dembele, who's a stad Rene player, although in real life, he's actually just signed for Borussia Dortmund. So regrettably, you won't be able to get him in the first transfer window on the new FIFA career mode but he's got amazing sprint speed and acceleration really good ball control and dribbling as well as five star weak foot and four star skill moves he's well renowned for being a player who takes penalties with his supposed wrong foot so if you do that then clearly you've got five star weak foot and plays an attacking mid and on both wings 18 years of age 76 overall like 88 potential and i'm sure ratings and potential like that will be carried on into the next game he is going to be absolutely mega he's going to be an absolute animal on the next game definitely someone to check out next up though we've got emre moore of f FC Norgeland and uh, much like Usman Dembele before him he's actually unfortunately just signed for Borussia Dortmund so once again you won't be able to get him in the first transfer window but obviously from then on in career mode you will be able to. Now he was 61 overall on FIFA 16 but he sort of jumped into the spotlight of the Euros not necessarily with performances but just being picked in the first place as a 17 year old to go to the Euros with your country uh, being Turkey in this instance that is absolutely mega. He's got really good agility as well as speed, ball control and dribbling so hopefully on the next game he carries on those traits. He's tipped to be a wonder kid and EA love to jump on the bandwagon of wonder kids the likes of Telemann and Odegaard so hopefully they do the same with Emre Moore for FIFA 17. After that though is Adam Nodj, the Hungarian defensive midfielder. Um, now this is a guy whose team isn't actually on the game, so on FIFA 16 uh, he's distributed to a random team, but in real life again he's just signed for a new team, um, being Cagliari, but the difference here is his old team aren't on the game, so you should still be able to buy him in the first transfer window. He's 68 overall with about 80 potential on FIFA 16, went to the Euros again with Hungary, did very very well, he's an absolute regular, like first on the team sheet for Hungary, and I assume for his old club as well so he should be very good hopefully into the 70s on FIFA 17. Moving on though we've got Jonas Hector again another player who sort of had a breakthrough season as far as I'm aware he's 78 overall in this game uh, scored the winning penalty actually for Germany in a uh, penalty shootout against Italy and of course as I've sort of alluded to he went to the Euros with Germany much like Nodge and Emre Moore before him. Uh, Jonas Hector though with 84 stamina, uh, some pretty good stats all over the board to be honest with you, defensive stats, physical stats, some pretty decent dribbling and passing stats as well, 25 years of age, can play as a left back or defensive mid, he's not going to have the highest potential, probably about 83 maybe, um, but still a player to watch out for definitely and it's very rare to get very good left backs. After that, though, we've got Wilfred Ndidi of Genk. Now, this guy started the game, like, in the 50s, I think, but he's now been upgraded to 68. He actually got a team of the season for his performances in real life. So, you know the guy's going to be amazing. And he's only 18 years of age. To get a team of the season at 18 is ridiculous. 84 stamina, decent defensive stats, as well as uh, speed, jumping, and strength. Three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. As I said, 18 years of age from Nigeria. And he also had high defensive work rate. So, he looks like a very solid and very much under-the-radar defensive defensive midfielder. After this though is someone who's very much on the radar of most teams, this is Kingsley Coman, again someone who did really well at the Euros, this time with France, 
uh, going the distance to the final, but then unfortunately losing in the final. Uh, unbelievable sprint speed acceleration, pretty good uh, agility and balance, of course, as well as dribbling. Uh, curve as well, some other good stats. I'd be very surprised if this guy isn't 80 on the next game. 19 years of age, can play on both wings and up front. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Surely he's going to get four-star skill moves, surely, uh, on the next game as well. And an absolute, I mean, he's a wonder kid. He's going to have like 88 potential, maybe even 89 on the next game. He will be an absolute animal. Uh, hopefully this guy, though, will be as well going back under the radar. It's Dennis Zachariah, uh, another player who, who's in this because he had a breakthrough season for BSC Young Boys over in the Swiss League. He's 60 overall, doesn't look too amazing, but he actually went to the Euros with Switzerland. Again, as a 18-year-old, that is ridiculous. To be going to the Euros with your national team at such a young, tender age, that's ridiculous. He can play as a centre mid, a uh, defensive mid, decent speed, stamina, strength and aggression, but hopefully has a lot of stats uh, sort of upgraded. Hopefully he's sort of in the 68 band area with sort of 82-83 potential. Looks like a very good and powerful central midfielder though, so definitely watch out for Dennis Zachariah. After that, though, we've got Victor Lindelof, the Iceman, as he's affectionately known uh, in Portugal uh, as his role at Benfica. 72 overall centre-back. He, again, has had a breakthrough season. Uh, he should be absolutely mega on the next game. I'd be very surprised if he's not, like, at least 77, maybe 76 uh, on the next game. Only 20 years of age. Good stamina, strength, and, of course, defensive stats, as well as heading accuracy, too. Three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves from Sweden. 20 years of age, as I mentioned. He hopefully will have about 84, 85 potential, but he, again, is a player who's been fantastic uh, in, in his league for Benfica, so definitely watch out for him. And then, finally, we've got another Portuguese-based player. It is Yuri Medeiros. Uh, this time someone who is actually Portuguese. 75 overall right winger. This is someone who's already good on the game, to be honest with you. I think he's got about 86 potential. This is someone to sort of reinforce your interest in. He's had a pretty good season. 21 years of age, four-star skill moves, high attacking work, great left-footed, but can play on the right wing. Uh, 83 curve, 82 dribbling, really good sprint speed, agility, and 92 balance as well as 80 stamina as well. So he's going to run around a lot, and he's going to run around at very high speeds as well, and uh, with very good dribbling ability too. As I mentioned, someone who's already very good uh, on FIFA 16, but I'm sure will carry on that potential and high rating onto FIFA 17 as well. But that is it. So those are the 10 players for this first episode of Players to Watch Out For. If you've got any suggestions for the next episode, then make sure to drop them in the comments section. The guys, really, that I would certainly suggest from this video, the likes of Emery Moore, Adam Nodge, and then obviously the likes of Dembele, Coman, and Rashford are going to be insane. But, you know, even Zachariah, Dennis Zachariah, really under the radar players. I'm sure you'll be able to get them pretty cheap as well on the next game. And uh, they should develop into pretty decent monsters. I've had them on my radar for a bit and they seem pretty good. Uh, some other people as well suggesting uh, players to me for this episode as well. But of course, again, as I mentioned, you can suggest players for the next episode in the comments section today. Don't forget to do that. If you did enjoy, though, feel free to hit the likes button. Subscribe if you're new around here as well. I uh, recently hit 17,000 subscribers as well, which is absolutely insane. Hoping to hit like 18k maybe before FIFA 17, which is just stupid numbers. So thank you guys for the support you've been showing recently. But that is it from me. It's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. No, that's not me. Act like a waste man, that's not me. Sex in the girl, no.